Whenever we talk about the most potent APU from the AMD side, the first option that comes into our mind is the Ryzen 5 2400G. No doubt, AMD made a great comeback with their Ryzen series processors and revived its lost market share in this industry. Without doing any more ado on this, let's start our best motherboard for Ryzen 5 2400G list. To get more information on any of these products, check out the links in the description box below for more information, and don't forget to subscribe to Gaming Gadgets Geek's YouTube channel. At number 1 it's Gigabyte B450 MDS 3H. Starting the list from the cheapest, I recommend the Gigabyte B450 MDS 3H for all those gamers whose hands are really tight for spending a good amount of money on a motherboard. This is not the best motherboard for 2400G, but when you compare the value for the money spent, it's definitely worth it and will help you game properly with its good features. The board features a 5 plus 2 power phase VRM that is covered at only one side by the heatsink and that is the core area, which is the most important part of the VRM. This will ensure that your processor will be overclocked without overheating for a good amount of time. It would have been better if there would have been a heatsink on the top power phases, but again, this is a $70 motherboard, so we can't complain about it. The board features 4x DIMM slots that can support up to 64 GB of DDR4 RAM, overclocked up to 3200 MHz. A lot of cheap motherboards don't feature 4 DIMM slots, but this one is very good for upgrading. You can put in a 2x 4 GB or 2x 8 GB sticks and can further increase the RAM size. Along with that it features 2x PCIe x16 slots for graphics cards, but doesn't support multi-GPU configuration which anyway is not good for a system with Ryzen 2400G. All the other basic features like M2 slot, 4x SATA ports, DVI, HDMI ports are present on it. The con I find in it is the absence of enough fan headers. It consists of just 2x fan headers including the CPU fan. You should use a fan splitter or a hub in order to equip your system with more fans in order to provide decent cooling to your chassis. In that way, overclocking your CPU will be more beneficial as there will be no room of overheating. But make sure that you don't overclock it strongly as it doesn't have the best VRM. At number 2 it's ASRock B450M Pro 4. Next up, we have this powerful B450 Micro ATX board from ASRock, which rocks a solid VRM with 6 plus 3 power phases, which uses doublers on the V-Core side. It's actually more like a 3 plus 3 power phase board, but doubling makes overclocking better for stability. You can easily overclock Ryzen 2400G up to a good extent and won't face overheating issues on the VRM, but also make sure that you use a good Ryzen CPU cooler. This one is similar in layout to the B450 MDS 3H motherboard and features 4x DIMM slots and 2x PCIe X16 slots. The difference is that the SATA ports are parallel to the PCB of the board to make easy wire connection and will hide the cables much better. For fast storage, it is equipped with 2x M2 slots that is really one of the best features of this board at a price less than $80. The best advantage of this board over the previous one is that it is equipped with so many fan and RGB headers. It consists of a 5x fan headers in total, including the AIO pump header, CPU fan header and chassis fan headers. There are 12 BRGB and ARGB headers present as well for making your system colorful with bright LED strips. If you can spend a little more money, then it will be better for Ryzen 2400G and even for upgrading your system in a better way. At number 3 it's MSI B450A Pro. Coming to the third and the best option for Ryzen 2400G is the B450A Pro motherboard from MSI. Not only it is the best motherboard for Ryzen 2400G, but also the best value B450 motherboard overall. It is the one which I mostly recommend to budget PC builders and also to those who want to build a mid-end gaming PC with a good Ryzen processor. This board features a true 4 plus 2 power phase VRM that is cooled down by heavy heatsinks. It's a full ATX motherboard, and hence, there are more slots and ports than you can get on a simple micro ATX board like the above mentioned. There are a total of 6x SATA ports, two of which are facing upwards, and four are parallel to the PCB for easy connection. There is, unfortunately, a single M2 slot for NVMe SSD, but 4x PCI X1 slots for expansion cards. 
Unlike the other budget B450 motherboards, it can support DDR4 RAM overclocked up to 3466 mhz which is massive, and there are troubleshooting LEDs present near to the 24-pin power port for easily knowing the problems. For cooling, there are a total of six fan headers, including the AIO pump, CPU fan and chassis fan headers. You won't need a fan splitter or a hub for installing more fans. This board is enough for proper cooling and each of these headers is located all around the motherboard. Also, at the I.O. of the motherboard, there is a BIOS flashback button which updates the BIOS without having a CPU. That means if you ever buy a 3000 or an X-Gen AMD Ryzen processor, and if it needs an updated BIOS, you won't need a 2000 series Ryzen CPU to update it. That feature is generally available on a $200 plus motherboard. So, it's really a great tool that you may try in the future. If you don't want to spend $90 plus on a motherboard for Ryzen 2400G or even if you have that amount of cash, it will be better to stick to this option, as it is the best one in the B450 chipset motherboard that cost less than $100. Going about $100, you can buy an X470 motherboard instead which I have listed below. At number 4 it's Gigabyte X470 Aris Ultra Gaming. Gigabyte X470 Aris Ultra Gaming is one of the cheapest if not the cheapest motherboard with the X470 chipset. Due to this, a lot of B450 chipset motherboards in the high-end line fail in front of it. X470 chipset is much better in all the aspects when combined together, be it overclocking or upgrading. This motherboard definitely is a top-notch choice for Ryzen 2400G and also for any other Ryzen CPU. Not only it can overclock a 4-core CPU, but also an 8-core monster like Ryzen 2700X which I used on it for my friend's PC. Aris motherboards bring in some good aesthetics where you can change the LED lighting effects and colors from the Gigabyte app center. This motherboard features powerful heatsinks with an RGB logo at the south bridge. There are two XPCIe X16 slots for graphics cards which supports up to two-way AMD Crossfire X or two-way NVIDIA SLI I don't recommend going with multiple graphics cards anyways, although you can do so if you upgrade to a higher-end CPU. This board features an 11 power phase VRM, which uses doublers and hence, helps to attain more stability for long operation while overclocking. The Iowa cover, on the other hand, gives it an attractive look over the VRM and makes it look like a high-end motherboard. There are tons of fan headers and RGB headers on this board which you can use to cool and light up your system respectively. Everything on this board is great, except that it doesn't come with onboard troubleshooting features. But if you don't need them that much, then this one would be the ultimate choice for the Ryzen 2400G, as you can upgrade your processor to something like Ryzen 2700X without changing the motherboard in order to gain more performance. At number 5 it's Asus ROG Strix X570i Gaming. There is no doubt that Asus designed some of the most powerful motherboards, not to mention that they look pretty solid as well. The company has a great past with success in motherboards, and now with every generation, it releases many series of motherboards. Asus ROG Strix X570i Gaming motherboard is although not as big as other X570 motherboards you would see in the market, the overall theme of the motherboard is very similar to that of the Asus ROG Strix X570e motherboard. There is an RGB logo on the IOA cover, as well as on the M2 shield, and there is RGB lighting on the right side of the motherboard as well. The Iowa cover of the motherboard extends almost towards the end of the motherboard, where the shield for the M2 slot goes right, serving as a heat sink for high-speed SSD drives. Since this is a mini ITX motherboard, there is only a single PCIe slot on the motherboard that is present right below the M2 slot. There are two DIMM slots on the motherboard instead of four, which you would find in ATX or even micro ATX motherboards. This leads to a maximum memory capacity of 64 GB by using 32 GB of sticks. However, there are two M2 slots on the motherboard, where one of them is present above the PCIe slot, and the other one is present at the backside of the motherboard. One of the best things about this motherboard is that despite having a super small size, it provides great overclocking support. The VRM of the motherboard is quite powerful, with an 8 plus 2 phase power design, which should easily be able to overclock high-end processors if you later want to upgrade your Ryzen 2400G to 3700X, etc. The heat sinks on the VRM are very thick, and there should be no thermal issues, as long as the case has adequate airflow, although getting high airflow in a mini ITX case is a bit difficult task. 
As for the I.O. of the motherboard, it provides two antenna outputs for wireless connectivity, 3x USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A ports, 4x USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports, 1x USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, an HDMI 2.0 port, a DisplayPort 1.4, a Gigabit LAN port, and 3x 3.5mm audio jacks. There is no optical SPDIF out port, which might be a deal breaker for audiophiles. Overall, the motherboard is great for someone who wants to design a super small sized rig that you can easily place in your TV lounge, etc. And with that we come to the end of our review. No matter what your tastes, I'm pretty sure you'll find something here that works well for you, and I'm confident you'll enjoy it. Until next time, have fun!